Okay, so we had an audible. Now we got to go on our two-minute drill. Well, hopefully we have five-minute drill, four-and-a-half-minute drill. Anyway, what are we trying to do? We're trying to find the mother function that goes with f prime prime of t is 2e to the t plus 3 sine t when f of 0 is 0 and f of pi is 0. So first we got to find f prime. That's the antiderivative because we're not doing this with the formal definition of an integral. We're using antiderivatives. We've got to crawl before we walk, son. So what is the antiderivative of 2e to the t? Yeah, 2e to the t, oh, oy. plus, maybe, maybe not. What's the antiderivative of 3 sine t? Minus, Minus 3 cosine, right, because you got to think to yourself, what do I take the derivative of 2? Get sine t, and it was minus 3 cosine, wait for it, t, plus c that constant of integration, but our constraints are gonna get rid of that C, because now we're gonna go and we're gonna find C. Yeah, if you see C, tell them we're looking for them. We're finding C using the constraint F of zero is zero? Wait, in our directions that wasn't prime? Are you sure? Yeah, they were yeah. both not. Neither, were prime. neither one of them were prime? No. Nope. Oh, that changes things. <laughs> Dirty. Dirty. Are you sure? Yeah. Can't we change the problem? No. We're going to need a system of equations now. Okay, whatever. So if that's my F prime, they tell me that's not what we wanted to do. All right, so then our capital F of t, we need to integrate 2 e to the t, oh, it's still 2 e to the t, why? Because we take the derivative of 2 e to the t and we get 2 e to the t. What's my antiderivative of minus 3 cosine t? It's 3 sine t, it's not capital yet. Yeah, it's still lowercase f. Wow, we need to go back and we need to read the directions. Because yeah, it isn't capital F, it's capital F F. It should be super capital F. Sine T plus C of X. It's not C of X, it's C times X. Because when we, when we anti-differentiate a constant, it's a constant X plus constant 1. It is T, not X, because we're using T's, not X. Make sure that they match. Okay, good, good call, good call, good catch. We're trying to rush this in our last, like, couple minutes, and yeah, I don't make a good Russian. Okay, so, we keep going. Now we can go ahead and we can plug those in there. So, capital F of, no, oh, capital F of zero, that's 2e to the 0 minus 3 times the sine of 0 plus zero. c times 0 plus c1. Well, f of 0 was 0. So this is, uh, e to the 0 is? 2. 1. And then 1 times 2 is? 2. two? What's the sine of 0? Oh, crap. Zero, okay. In radians or degrees? Doesn't matter. So that's minus zero plus zero. Okay, those are going to cancel out. Plus C1. Oh, maybe we're not going to need a system. C is equal to negative two. Which C? C1. C1 is equal to negative two. So C1 is equal to negative two. All right, so we got that. Boom. Uh, uh, this is going to be crappy to watch. Because now I have my capital, capital F, or little f, of t. That is 2e to the t minus 3 sine t plus c. What was c1? A minus 2? 
and then, oh, that's wrong. That's CX, but it's not an X. It's a T. CT, and then this is plus, no, minus, deuces. Before we say goodbye to this problem, we got to go find our other C. And we're using F of pi is 0. This guy, f of pi is 0. We're using that now. So f of pi, that's 2 e to the pi minus 3 sine of pi plus c times pi minus 2. Ah! But f of pi was 0? Yeah, that's right. So f of pi is 0, and that's equal to 2 e to the pi minus... What's the sign of pi? Zero. zero. Let's just call that 0. Plus c pi... My, ooh, ooh. Minus 2? And then we're solving for... That's not a 2. That's a 2. So we're solving for C, so C turns out to be, wait for it, 2 minus 2 e to the pi divided by pi? Okay, so let's just sum it up. Um, 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 right here. What what the F? F of T. That was 2 E to the T minus 3. Ah, I'm out of time. What do you do? You put your C's back where they go. Okay, bye. <laughs>